So hi, it's Tom here. Well, I uh, carry on as a woodcarver and a, and a pipe maker. And uh, I still have a lot to learn. But I'm making a little bit uh, progress, I feel, anyway. Here's uh, the latest pipe I made. Uh, and uh, I really like uh, this design. A two-piece pipe. It's just made from two pieces of wood, no glue, no nothing. And uh, I don't really know what wood this was made from. It's the uh, same as, as these ones. I cut down a tree and, and I made some bushcraft pipes. And this one I peeled off the bark and, and uh, carved the face with this uh, uh, smoke puffing mouth. And I bought myself a drill, a long drill, and now I'm making one piece stems, just just uh, one single piece of wood, and then I I carve it into a, to a stem. And these ones you can of course take apart, and uh, that's the way I that seem to be working best for me right now. This one's I only smoked it once, I'm gonna smoke it one more time here in the end of the film. And uh, anyhow, one of the main reasons for this film is uh, to ask someone who is who wants who knows a lot about how to finish wood carvings like this. I mean if you have wood carvings with these kind of details and and uh, I want to keep a natural look. I don't want to paint it. I would just make it uh, some kind of finish that protects the surface. You see like this pipe here. Uh, when I cleaned the pipe after the first mug I got a little bit soot there. I had to clean off somehow. I guess I scrub it with some water and a toothbrush and then, and then I want to seal it with something like uh, perhaps perhaps some kind of wax. Uh, I tried some kitchen oil on this one here and it gave the pipe a uh, nice color. I believe this wood here is some kind of sherry wood. It's some wood from uh, a garden anyway, I know that and I was looking at pictures of different woods and I think this could be cherry. I really like the, the smell of this wood. It has a very light sweet smell to it. It was really nice to uh, for pipes, I thought. Uh, anyhow, oil. This oil that I used for this one is some kind of kitchen bench oil, specially developed for for uh, kitchen tables, and uh, and uh, the smell of it is uh, is not bad. It's, it doesn't smell like any chemicals or or alcohol like that, but but it uh, takes away the, the smell of the surface of the of the wood, of course, but then I don't oil it on the inside, so when you puff on it you still feel that, that taste that I, uh, that I like. So uh, what kind of a, a finish would you recommend if you know anything about this? If you want to bring out the you want to bring out the, the details a little bit and give the the pipe a protective surface against dirt. What would be the best for pipes like this? Would it be that uh, canoba, canoba wax, something from the palm leaves that many people seem to use to, for the final polish of, of briar pipes? Could that be something? And then I saw that you could buy different kind of waxes with, with the different stain colors in. You could buy them in uh, like oak color and and uh, hazelnut color and things like that. I was just wondering if that uh, is is something uh, uh, that would bring out uh, the details of these ones better. I try to use some kind of leather stain. I saw many people use leather stain and I, I tried it on this guy here but it, it got way it ate itself into the wood and and uh, uh, 
uh, it got too dark. This was a dark brown one. Maybe it would have looked a little bit better with a with a light brown color. Uh, I don't know. And then I polished it with some some uh, kind of wax used for polishing uh, polishing silver, and it gave it a, some kind of shine to it. But this is not anything that I would would think is the best for, for pipes now, but that was what I had available at home. If you have any experience in, in uh, finishing wood carvings like this and pipes, uh, please let me know. Thanks. Now, hi guys. I have just loaded up this pipe with some Count Hamilton's tobacco, a classic Swedish tobacco that is quite decent. I don't know how to smoke, how to blow any smoke rings, but this pipe knows. Sometimes. Yeah, it smells pretty well. Yeah, this is the size. Yeah, there's another thing about pipes, and that is the size of the chamber. What size do you consider being the the best size? I'm drilling these these chambers uh, with a, either 12 millimeter, like this one. This has, has a 12 millimeter and maybe one inch deep, a little bit more, one and a half inch deep chamber and uh, I, uh, I drill it just with a with a regular uh, drill like this and then I round off the bottom of the of the chamber with a tool like this to get a better shape it makes the tobacco burn all the way down to the to the last bit uh, and uh, I, I have these ones in uh, the sizes uh, 12 millimeter and 16 millimeter and 19 millimeter and the 19 millimeter is a little bit too big for me I think if you're making a, a pipe then you got it you got enough tobacco to sit and, and sit for half an hour or more that is a little bit longer than I than I want. I like to have a smoke that maybe lasts for 10, 15 minutes. And uh, I think uh, the 16 millimeter is probably probably going to be the size that I'm gonna enjoy the most. That's gonna be my next pipe here. I'm gonna make one just like this, but a little bit bigger in 16 millimeters instead of 12 like this one. I'm gonna see how that works. But uh, I'm really happy with this one. It's uh, the only thing here now is how to to perfect my uh, skill in carving faces and uh, and uh, sealing the pipe, giving it a good finish so it doesn't get dirty like this, and, and uh, then it will last a long time.